So we're finally on this new chapter, and this new chapter is uh, focused on elasticity. Now, after this chapter, you will be able to do all this. You will be able to define, calculate, and explain the factors that influence the price elasticity of demand. You'll know all, how to explain all the factors that influence cross elasticity of demand and the in Come elasticity of demand, and you'll learn how to uh, explain, define, calculate the factors that influence the elasticity of supply. Now, these are the kind of questions that uh, elasticity answers. So, like, what are the buying plan? What are the effects of a high gas price on buying plans? We know that some of the biggest effects at a uh, car dealers' lot is where SUVs remain unsold while subcompacts sell. In big quantities because of the of the difference differences in gas mileage. Now, how big are these effects? So, when the price of gasoline doubles, by how much does the quantity sold of SUVs decreases? By how much of the, the quantity sold of subcompacts increase? What about the gas purchases? Do we spend more or do we find substitutes and spend less on gas? These are the kind of questions that elasticity answers. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So the price elasticity of demand. So these are my pointers, my notes that I've taken during my course. And uh, there are really four, four points that you really need to know. And that is the slope of a demand curve depends on the units in which we measure price and quantity so by that i mean that the slope of our demand curve that we have here for example really depends on our x-axis our x-axis curve uh, being quantity de quantity demanded and our y-axis being uh being price in this case and if we have two different graphs like i have here we can compare the slopes of this uh, original demand curve and this original demand curve if they are based on the same units. So uh, you can see here that my graph, uh, the for both graphs, the horizontal is the price and the, uh, or the horizontal is the quantity, quantity demanded and the vertical is the price. Now, due to the units being the same, you can compare the slopes, but comparison won't work if the units aren't the same. And lastly, just definition, elasticity is a measure of responsiveness independent of units of measurement. And we will learn more about that uh, later. So let's just talk about these graphs for a while and what they mean. So let's look at this first graph. Um, so we can see that this is our original supply and this is the supply curve after we have an increase in supply and this is our original demand curve. Now at the original uh, price or at the or at the original intersection between supply and demand, the, pr the price of the product was $20 and the quantity demanded was 10. Now due to the increase in supply, we have a large fall in price and there's a small increase in quantity demanded. And from what we learned in the previous videos, this doesn't really make a lot of sense if you really think about it right now because it, when we, the normal way of thinking is when we have a large fall in price, then we would expect a big increase in quantity demanded. And I will explain the reason why this happened in, shortly. Now in this video, so let's just jot that down. So let's just say this is a big fall big fall in price and uh, this this here is um, let's say small change small change in quantity demanded now you can see in this graph that I'm pretty much doing the same thing. Um, so this is our original, uh, our original price and our original quantity demanded, right here. Now this is when the supply increases. This is our the new price of the product and the new quantity demanded. Now you can see the opposite happened here. In this case, in this case. There is a small change in price, 
and so I'll just connect it here instead and instead of writing it to save time so there's a small fall in price and we can see that there's a large increase in quantity demanded so before original quantity demanded was 10 but due to the small and small fall in price there's a big increase in quantity to quantity demanded and yeah again this might be a little bit confusing but yeah so far it's confusing but what we really need it highlights the need that we need a measure of the responsiveness of quantity demanded to a price change so we need to somehow find a measurement that um, that gives us how how the quantity demanded responds to uh, to uh, to a change in price so that leads us to the price elasticity of demand. This is what's gonna save the day. The price elasticity demand is a unit-free measure of the responsiveness of the quantity demanded of a good to a change in its price when all other influences on buyer's decision stays constant. So this will explain why a large fall in price gives a small change in quantity demanded. It's a unit-free measure and it measures the response responsiveness of the quantity demanded of a good to a change in price. Now, you can see that I have here in this uh, in these two blackboards that calculating price elasticity of demand, the price elasticity of demand formula is pretty much percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price, and the step-by-step -step for calculating the price elasticity of demand. Um, first, we have to express the change in price and quantity demanded as the percentages of quantity of, or as percentages of average price and average quantity. Um, the average price being the average of the initial and new price and average quantity being the, the average of the initial and the new quantity. And by using the average price and the average quantity, we can calculate the elasticity at a point on the demand curve. and the point, this term, the point, is pretty much the midpoint between the original and the new point. And this is where I'll leave you guys. And in the next video, I'll probably do an example of this to make it more clear on how to calculate the price elasticity of demand. But uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.